As systems manage higher volumes of complex data, developers increasingly turn to index data structures to enhance performance in locating a given data object. Used properly, indexes can boost speed logarithmically beyond that of a linear data search. However, when indexing is contemplated, the first and often the only index to be considered is likely to be the B tree, as Christos mentioned. Out of all the indexes that can order records in database management systems, only B trees are offered universally. And often, they're the only index offered, and there's no denying B trees' efficiency for basic database search operations like exact match, prefix, and range searches. But these plain vanilla indexes are often a poor fit for certain data and access patterns, such as IP routing, geospatial searching, and in-memory database systems. Therefore, it pays for a programmer to understand a wider variety of indexes that may at first glance appear more exotic. Diverse index types enable important design trade-offs involving search performance, memory consumption, and update performance, and some indexes offer distinct advantages for certain application categories. This presentation is going to examine less well-known indexes that can be a good fit for certain application needs. The B-tree is the most popular data structure used in database and file systems and provides efficient general purpose lookup and sorted retrieval of entries for a large volume of data. We'll look at R-trees for geospatial indexing, which is common in GPS and navigation type systems. We'll examine the Patricia tree for router and telephone directory searches. This is also known as a longest prefix match index. T-trees are appropriate for all in-memory data storage and access. Whereas the design goal of a B-tree is to minimize I.O., the design goal of a T-tree is to minimize memory use. Hash tables can quickly locate a single unique index entry. Hash indexes can be faster and use less memory than either of the types of tree indexes. And then custom indexes are B-trees that allow the application to define the collating sequence or the sort order of the entries rather than defaulting to a simple lexicographical or numerical sorting. And we'll look at a couple of examples of where being able to control that comparison function could be useful. Okay, moving on to R trees now. B tree indexes are single dimensional. They can't efficiently deal with multi dimensional data defined in R2 or R3 coordinates inherent in spatial searches. On the slide, I've listed some common examples of multi-dimensional data. The R-tree index, sometimes called Gutmann's R-tree for its originator, provides a way to index multi-dimensional data. There are many applications and services that need efficient algorithms for, to perform spatial searches. For example, locating the nearest object to a current location or finding all the objects in a user's vicinity uh, and so on. One extreme DB user for whom R trees have made a major performance difference is a social networking site called meetme.com, uh, which is a, a teen oriented uh, social networking site. On their site, R trees enable users uh, such as 18 year old boys to find out things like how many 18 year old girls are logged in within 10 miles of them. The our tree algorithm does the job well by mapping objects in space using a bounding box, or what we call a minimum bounding rectangle, which is abbreviated MBR. If an object is represented by a point that have coordinates x, y, then the wrapping rectangle, or the bounding box, is a degenerated rectangle in which the width and height are zero. For all other geographical objects, whether they're lines, polygons, or other arbitrary shapes, the wrapping rectangle is such that the coordinates of the top left corner are smaller than or equal to the coordinates of any point of the object, and the coordinates of the bottom right corner are greater than or equal to the coordinates of any point in the object. In other words, to put it more simply, a wrapping rectangle is the smallest rectangle that fully contains the specified object. Each node in the index bounds its children. Like the nodes of other index types we've discussed, a node can have many different objects in it. The leaves of the tree point to the actual objects. The height is always log n, 
In other words, the tree is height balanced. And again, as with other tree indexes, the R tree nodes usually correspond to database or file system pages. So here's a picture of an R tree. Let's take a moment to examine it. The input for a search is a rectangle or a query box. And searching is similar to searching in a B tree. The search starts from the root node of the tree. Every internal node contains a set of rectangles and, and pointers to the corresponding child node. And every leaf node contains the rectangles of spatial objects or a pointer to a spatial object. For every rectangle in a node, it has to be decided if it overlaps the search rectangle or not. If it does, the corresponding child node has to be searched also. Searching is done like this in a recursive manner until all the overlapping nodes have been traversed. When a leaf node is reached, the bounding boxes, the rectangles, contained within it are tested against the search rectangle, and the objects are put into the result set if they lie within the search rectangle. To insert an object, the tree is uh, traversed recursively from the root node. All the rectangles and the current internal node are examined. The constraint of least coverage is employed to insert an object. In other words, the box that needs the least amount of enlargement to enclose the new object is selected. In the case where there is more than one rectangle that meets that criteria, the one with the smallest area is chosen. Inserting continues recursively in the chosen node. Once a leaf node is, re is reached, a straightforward insertion is made if the leaf node is not full. If the leaf, no leaf node is full, then it has to be split before the insertion is made. And there's a few splitting algorithms uh, for good B tree performance, uh, but that's more detail than we really have time to go into in this uh, presentation. The programming interface of an R tree usually provides the following search methods. The object belongs to the specified area, or more formally, whether the object's minimum bounding rectangle overlaps with the specified rectangle, or the object is part of the specified area, whether the object's MBR is wholly contained within the specified rectangle, not just overlaps, but wholly contained within, and then get all objects that belong to uh, the specified area. In other words, get all the objects whose uh, minimum bounding rectangles overlap with the specified rectangle. These operations, in turn, can be used to implement more sophisticated requests. For example, to locate the nearest neighbor to an object, or to get all objects whose distance from the current location is less than some specified value. Uh, 